Welcome to Scuba Visions TV and today instead of our usual dive in one of my favorite dive sites what we're going to do is we have the honor of having John Hansel here who's the dive safety officer from the New England Aquarium. John is also the author of a new action adventure novel entitled Out of Hell's Kitchen. Welcome John. Thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure. Well for starters why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure. Um... As you said, my name is John Hansel and I, and I work as the Diving Safety Officer for the New England Aquarium. I started there as a volunteer and um, I worked my way into a part-time staff person. I'm currently the Diving Safety Officer for the Aquarium and uh, in that title I am responsible for all the diving programs at the Aquarium, both in-house and out in the field. Uh, I also work as an aquarist in the Giant Ocean Tank um, where we work together and, and there I, I work feeding everything from 300 pound sand tiger sharks down to the tiniest little wrasse and uh, I definitely love that job um, and been sort of involved with scuba diving since probably 1987 where I got certified down in Mexico. Mm. It's a fun job I might add myself the time I spend there. It is, uh, it is unlike uh, no other job I've had in the past certainly and, um, and something that uh, I get a lot of people asking me what it's like to dive in that in that giant tank and deal with all those interesting animals, and I never cease to tire talking about it. Right, right. So, how did you get involved in the New England Aquarium? Well, I <laughs> I would have been in the technology industry for quite some time. I was actually a, an engineer in the television industry for about 12 years, and um, I have a background in electrical engineering. Um, however, I was never really just happy with being an electrical engineer. I wanted to sort of do something more physical. Um, and I've had a lot of different sort of adventures in my life, but, but I, I enjoy doing things where there's a purpose. And um, in my aquatic love and my love of scuba diving and being an instructor, it was a natural progression for me to get work at the aquarium um, as a volunteer. So what does it really mean to be the dive safety officer? What does that involve? Well, uh, it's, it's an interesting position, certainly. Um, it, it involves the safety of all of the, the divers who work for the aquarium and what they're called the scientific divers. Um, they're not recreational divers, mm -hmm. but they're actual, um, fall into the OSHA, not to be too confusing, but they fall into the OSHA um, Occupation and Safety Health Administration um, diving requirements and so therefore I have to actually make sure that all the divers who come in are already certified but that they have the skills and the background that will um, allow them to be safe divers within all the diving activities we do at the aquarium. We do both in exhibit diving meaning we have the giant ocean tank, we have a lot of other exhibits that you can actually get in scuba gear and go down into these tanks to do cleaning and feeding and maintenance all sorts of stuff. So I have to make sure that, that those diving um, operations are, are conducted safely by scientific divers and all the diving that we do out of the aquarium we do a lot of um, ocean diving we do mm -hmm. expeditions into everything from Eastport Maine all the way down in the Caribbean we send people to the South Pacific for conservation trips and into Fiji areas and mm -hmm. so all of these people fall under my umbrella of, of safety so I have to make sure that everything that is happening with diving for the aquarium is, uh, is done correctly and one thing I have to do is actually bring all new divers who are coming into the aquarium into the giant ocean tank and do basically a checkout dive. All the skills you did as an open water diver when your very first checkout dives, mm -hmm. I repeat on them um, and make sure that they're still capable of performing everything from mass clearing to regular recovery, body breathing, the whole gamut of, of skills uh, and, and make sure that, that they are safe divers and capable divers. And you're also a technical diver, right? I, that, one of my, um, my own personal goals is to dive the Andrea Doria. Um, and to that, to that ultimate goal, I've been doing some technical training. I have uh, recently actually completed my um, advanced nitrox and decompression procedure certifications through um, TDI, Technical mm -hmm. Diving International. Uh, this, this winter time, moving into spring, I'm gonna be starting the uh, Trimix and Advanced Trimix. So yeah, I have done, the first stages of the technical diving program and very interesting, very different. It, it's like starting all over again. I've, I've, um, it's a little frustrating, but at the same time, it's very challenging. And then are you uh, rebreather certified also? I am a, an instructor for rebreather 
Semi closed circuit. It's mm -hmm. the Dolphin mm -hmm. Drager makes it, and so I can teach that. But for a closed circuit, fully closed circuit, I've never actually done any rebreather diving. Although this winter I am working with um, a gentleman at a dive shop, uh, Tom, Tom Huff, who is an instructor uh, and owner of a dive shop, to mm -hmm. to be doing the um, inspiration rebreather. So you're a busy guy. Um, it's yeah, I seem to be fairly busy. But yet you found time to uh, write a novel now. Well, yes, this is uh, um, the result of about 10 years worth of, uh, of painful labor and um, probably a lot of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I did manage to, uh, to write an action adventure novel entitled Out of Hell's Kitchen. Mm -hmm. And very actually, I'm very proud of it. I um, uh, uh, was something that was not easy to do, but it was something that I... I sort of set my mind to do, and like I said, 10 years later, I finally uh, was able to get it published. Right. So tell us what it's about. Well, in a nutshell, I suppose I could say it's about a British lad who um, is 18 years old, just turning 19, uh, comes home one night in London to his home to find it had burnt down. Um, his mother had died in this fire, and an uncle that he didn't know he had shows up from Hell's Kitchen, New York, which is now Clinton, but... Hell's Kitchen is definitely more interesting um, and more probably more romantic name for that area of New York City. Uh, so he comes out of New York City to bring him back to the States to live with him. And Luke, the central character's name is Luke Hawthorne. Mm -hmm. Luke is um, so stunned by the events that had happened with his mother dying, his house burning down. He actually lost one of his best friends to a drug overdose, to a new drug called Raven, um, that he just sort of said, sure goes to New York City to live with his uncle and starts to discover that his uncle's not who he thought he was. Um, and there's a lot of shady stuff going on. At the same time, his friends in, back in London begin to disappear. And his world basically spirals into um, a downward spiral into sort of his own personal hell. And, and it involves action from, from London to New York to Miami, back to London, over to France. Um, and all the way down into Honduras, uh, and that's where the book concludes. And there's just a lot going on in it. It's very exciting. It's pretty much a fast read. It's, it's a uh, sort of a, a great beach read, good mm -hmm. for uh, dive trips, reading on the boat, reading on the beach. If you go to the uh, www.outofhellskitchen.com website, there are links uh, that people can use to uh, find ways to buy the book also. Yep, um, it's, it's basically your one-stop shopping for this book where you can you can you know browse the book a little bit and you can read about the author if you're interested look at some pictures and certainly link over to um, um, amazon.com or barnesnoble.com to make the purchase I try to make it easy for people excellent well John thanks for joining us today I really appreciate you coming on uh, Scuba Visions TV it's been my pleasure and uh, we hope to uh, see you again when Into the Devil's Throat uh, gets published. I look forward to it. Thank you, Don. Great.